Welcome back. On this Monday, we are going to turn our attention to your health, especially hearing loss. I recently spoke with a doctor in San Antonio, Texas, about these new clinical trials and some new treatment options for people who struggle with hearing loss. Let's take a look. I can hear you, but I can't understand you. That's a complaint heard from millions of Americans because hearing loss is on the rise and a growing body of evidence shows that this has implications for our overall health. Many of us assume that hearing loss is just a natural part of aging. In fact, it is a public health problem that spans all age groups. However, there are currently clinical trials underway where patients can receive a potential new therapy that could actually reverse hearing loss. Joining us now to discuss this latest development is Dr. Susan King, co-founder of the Ear Medical Group in San Antonio and a professor in the Department of Otolaryngology at University of Texas Health Science Center. Dr. King, thanks for being here. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you so much for having me. So just to start, how big of an issue is hearing loss and why is it so important for people to seek treatment? So 40 million Americans suffer from hearing loss, and you're absolutely right. It has to do not just with aging, but it has to do with uh, being living in a noisy environment in an industrial society. It affects all age ranges. And hearing loss affects the individual, their family, and society in general. Individuals can have milder forms of hearing loss where they struggle socially, such as in a restaurant, and they retreat and don't stay in the conversation. Or with more severe forms of hearing loss, it can lead to depression, social isolation, and even cognitive problems, such as thinking ability problems or short-term memory problems. And in my clinic, I see people every day with hearing loss. And unfortunately, people wait a long time, usually about seven to 10 years to have their hearing loss addressed before they um, come to get evaluated. And I think one of the reasons they do this is that we don't have the perfect solution for hearing loss. We have devices such as hearing aids or cochlear implants, which do a really good job bringing volume or giving someone sound, but they don't have the, the best ability to understand words. And that is called speech perception. And that is the number one unmet need we have right now is to find something to help with speech perception. And that's why it's so exciting that we're doing this clinical trial to uh, test a drug that is a, a potential drug to restore hearing by restoring sensory cells of hearing, which do aid in helping speech perception. Well, this is a huge challenge for many, and we understand that you are part of a study that aims to potentially restore hearing. Tell me more about that. So my clinic in San Antonio, as well as more than 25 clinics throughout the country, and in fact, there's one in Salt Lake City, uh, we are studying a drug candidate uh, that may, in fact, go, go very um, go a long way to helping hearing be restored by grow, regrowing the sensory cells of hearing. We're looking at a specific group of patients. They are patients with noise-induced hearing loss or a history of sudden hearing loss, which is a unexplained sudden loss of hearing that doesn't return, and they are going to be um, given this drug candidate and then we'll be measuring their speech perception. I've been involved in several of the clinical trials with this same uh, drug candidate. Um, and in these trials, we've seen with a single dose of the uh, study product that some people have improved their speech perception significantly, and some have even du nearly doubled their ability in terms of speech perception. And we think that's really pretty incredible because these are patients that came in with stable hearing loss that had been long term, so they really didn't have any other good reason to spontaneously get better. And I also had the opportunity to bring some of these people that responded back one to two years later, and some had shown a, that they maintained that improved speech 
perception ability, which is really incredible when you think about it after one dose of a um, drug product. Tell me a little more about it. How is it given to patients and what does it do? So the drug candidate is called FX322 and it is instilled in a patient's middle ear as a gel and it travels into the inner ear where it stimulates cells that are already in your inner ear to become sensory cells of hearing. It's performed by an ear, nose, and throat surgeon in an, in an office setting, and it's very, very well tolerated. And what else should we know about this new therapy, and how safe is it? It's been studied in five different clinical trials. 200 patients have been treated with this um, study product. And to date, there's a favorable safety profile. And again, it's very well tolerated. And what can you tell us about where the clinical trials are taking place and how people can get involved? I know you mentioned that there's a way, hopefully you can get involved right here in Salt Lake City. Right. There, so there's a website called Clara Health. Dot com and it's c l a r a health dot com and if you search for hearing loss study or f x three two two you'll be directed to some information to um, enroll if you are interested. And where can we get more information about this? Um, through the website, and I do want to say that we are looking for uh, subjects that are 18 to 65 with the conditions of noise-induced hearing loss and sudden hearing loss. And again, the website is clarahealth.com and search for hearing loss studies or FX322. Well, thank you so much, Dr. King, for joining us today. Really appreciate this important information for those who have hearing loss and treatment. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you for having me.